Someone once talked about the breath as being a broom to sweep out all the cobwebs in your body and the mind. So breathe in really deep. Think of the breath going all the way down to the toes, all the way out to the fingers. Cleaning out all the cobwebs that are there, all the leftover thoughts from today or yesterday. You're right here, right now. You don't have to have anything to do with anything you've done or said up to this moment. You're right here, fully right here. If you're going to be thinking Bhutto with a breath, okay, think of Bhutto with every cell in the body. The breath goes through every cell in the body, cleaning everything out. When things are cleaned out this way, then you can see them clearly. What, what else is there that you might have, might have missed otherwise? It's like sweeping the pad up here. Sweep it every day, every day, and after all you know what's been coming through. The other day there was a snake track, and almost every day now there are raccoon tracks. If we didn't sweep it every day, we wouldn't know, because it would be all the tracks from who knows how many days. So if you want to see what's going on in the mind, first clean things out with the breath. And then anything that comes in will be new, and you'll see it. It'll leave its tracks, and then will be mixed up with the tracks from yesterday or the day before. Otherwise, the mind is like a corral where the cows have stayed for days and days, and you can't tell which tracks belong to which cow because they're all on top of one another. So clean things out regularly. That way, whatever else comes up in the course of your meditation, you'll see it clearly. And that way, you'll be able to take care of that. It's like shooting these things down one and one, one at a time. You know what, that they're there because they're leaving fresh tracks. And if you can take care of them in time, then they don't become big issues in the mind. You got them when they're small. It's like a fire. You want to catch the fire when it's still a small fire, and then it doesn't do much damage at all. If you wait for a bit, it can spread all over the county, destroy lots of things. It's the same with anger, greed, delusion, any of the defilements in the mind. If you catch them when they're small, okay, then you can, then you're much more in control, and there's a lot less damage that you have to clean up afterwards.